yeah, the guys will go. Really it's deep into the ball game, and they haven't been able to stretch anything off of this guy. So look for him to do the same thing today. Maybe go the distance. Oh, maybe hand it over to the bullpen at the end and try to get that W. Sal Freeland in the box now as he leaves that one up high. And another ball. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The 2 1. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Pro Armstrong makes the grab. And there's one down. Let's take a look at the Brewers' lineup. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now here is William Contreras. That oh. one misses, and it's one to zero. The pitch. Ball. One out, base is empty. Ball. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three, three straight outside the strike zone. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. One down, base is empty. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, that you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. One down. Tyler Black. Up now for the Brewers. Ball. And that one is no, inside it. ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's in there at the knees. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard oh. in this first inning. That Thank one you. missed. Still two and two after the foul ball. Contreras, the runner at second with one away. Well struck right field. And it's off the wall. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. And into second with one away. That's a double. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Willie Adamas stands in. Sliced hard but foul. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Ball. That's off the mark. And now it's even one and one. The shortstop takes the ball. Two balls, one strike. Man at second. Three one. In the dirt, but kept close. Tag safe. He's in the third of the wild pitch. 
Even with a good secondary lead, sometimes it's hard to see just how far that ball's gotten away from the catcher. And if you can make it to third base pretty much standing up, well, that time he seemed to have a pretty good read, gets to third safely, and now he's just 90 feet away from scoring. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Run around a third, one gone. And there's ball, ball four. The left number nine. Now here's Jake, Jake Bowers. 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 First pitch misses. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. And that one pulled foul. And a one two. And two, another two. ball. Ball Just three. missing there. Full count three Full count. and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Traffic on the bases with one already in, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Outside, and that is ball four. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out three bases at this rate. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. That catches the outside corner, and it's 0-1. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Next pitch is downstairs. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. This one is blasted. A no doubter Grand slam. He powers that one out of here. And they add to their lead. It's 5 zip. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base. And really set the table for a very special moment in this one. This is Bryce Terang. Now a drag bunt, third base side, and that's just foul. Left hand batter waits. Fly ball down the line. And it falls. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he'll reach second with one away. You got to get on your horse and get to that ball and get it back in because he's going to come barreling around first and put some pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, it's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Here comes Craig Council, and we're going to see a pitching change. Hayden Wisniewski done for the afternoon, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Keegan Thompson taking over on the mound. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. One out, runner at second. Up now for Milwaukee, Oliver Dunn. 
And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. One out and a runner at second. And that's in the dirt. Squirts away a little bit. He's oh, in there. Hey. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Well, he's got nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home all sorts of ways now. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when they're runners on base. Two-two now. Swing and a ball popped up. Two down. Batting up. The center fielder, number 16. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Blake Perkins. Boog, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here comes a pitch. Got it. Hands the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. The Brewers go big with this grand slam, and the lead is now 5-0. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Wrigley Field, and today's starting pitcher, Joe Ross. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them, but this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in go. some Four hostile environment. So the when you have a player eight. like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you oh, definitely right. like your chances away from your home ballpark. And a pitch. Nico Hi. Horner leading things off and takes a strike. Swing and a miss as no he was out front Two that strike. time. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. No. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. And the righty deals. That one the other way. Takes it in for the out. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. And one to watch, of course, their three-hole hitter, Ian Happ. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well up there at the plate. He's got a presence about him. And, you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch swing the bat. Mike Tuckman stands in now and watches strike one. The 0-1. There's the swing and a miss. 0-2. That's the third. Gets to it with a slide. Fires to first. And that's, that's a great enough. play for the out. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit. Hit the ball on the ground. Get some you. worms while you're at it. Yeah. Yeah. Ha. In half up to hit. Back 
clips the inside corner for a strike. The wide to kick the pitch. That one misses, one. and it's a ball to strike. Good eye right there. Two ball, two strikes. Full and count. another ball. Outside, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. The pitch. No, that's a ball. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Half off of first with two away. Pitch misses, and that's ball two. Pickoff throw. Half dives back in safely. Two outs. Not okay. close with that one. And it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. At the belt and fires. Up the middle, Terang. Tosses to first. Play made, that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley. It's the Brewers five and the Cubs nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the leadoff the right man for the, the Brewers, percent. Sal Freeland. Sal Freeland. Thompson back to work and that one lifted in the air center field Crow Armstrong puts it away and there's one away now bad catch it William Contreras. and now it's William Contreras doubled his first time up a little bit low Pitch misses there. Two and oh. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. That one ripped right center field. And no one can get there. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against the firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Tyler Black up now for the Brewers. A double. And a run scored his first time up. Swings yeah. through that. Oh, one.
Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him swinging. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. Adamas. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Third ball drops in for a strike. And this guy's got great feel for his breaking ball today. The pitch. Ball oh. one there. Excellent arm one, action two. on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Oh. And a swing and a miss. That's the third out. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Brewers five and the Cubs nothing. Bottom half of inning Leading number two, and now the DH, the Michael Bush. Michael Bush. And the right hander back to work. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Not shortstop. Gansby. Swanson. Dansby Swanson stands in. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Ball the shortstop one. takes a ball. One ball. The no Brewers strike. leading by five. Bottom half of inning number two. Base hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. Batting. And Batting. he met it out front for the, the line drive knock. Matt. Matt Mervis, Mervis now at the plate. Catches the corner. The oh, one no. is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The 1 1. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. To Adamas, that's one. Over to first, that's two. Nicely done. One, six, three, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Brewers five and the Cubs nothing. Top half of the third inning. Here's the left fielder, Jake Bowers. Jake Bowers in his fourth year, 28 years old. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. The right-hander back to work. Right. That pitch in for a strike. Going one. Well, these Brewers putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. No. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the one game ball. early. He just one was strike. never able to settle in, and the damage was done by the time he got the hook. Oh, Late on that dude. fastball. I mean, when One you're ball. chasing the opposing starter in the first inning or two, that's just such a tone setter for the game. And it puts the other team back ball. on their heels, and it stills a lot of confidence in your lineup from top to bottom. Here's a 2-2. Inside, just missed. Right side. Long run on his horse. Flashes the leather on the running catch. One away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little no, bit. Couldn't quite no, barrel no, it up no. enough to really drive it. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He had a grand slam his first time up. Oh. 
No. That yep. one clips the outside corner, and the count even at one. Softly hit to third. Two away. Out. Now back. Second base. Right. Terang. And stepping in is the speedy Bryce Terang. Doubled in his first A.B. That to right. Sizing this one up. And makes the grab. And that is that. Back here at the friendly confines. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Miguel Amaya. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. One, one. Oh, one. Gets Drive. the outside corner with that one. Oh, and down three. on strikes he goes. And a quick out number one. That's that classic wipeout slider below Batting the zone up. right there. Just the nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Now a chance for Pete Crow Armstrong. The Brewers leading by five here in the last half of the third. The wind of the pitch. That one, one way outside. And a count one and two. Ball. Just misses with that one. Popped up, middle of the diamond. Contreras in position pulls it down and he makes the catch. The and there's two away. Two. Second, Second baseman, baseman. Nico. Nico Horner. Here's Nico Horner. 0 for 1 so far. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Kicks and fires. Now a screamer into the outfield. Bowers makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the Cubs are down in order. It's 5-0. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Mark Leiter Jr. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Up now for Milwaukee, Oliver Dunn. He popped out his first time. The pitch. When you look Runner. at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. And that one is lifted in the air. Touches down, that's a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Next for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. And a swing and a miss. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is 
running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. The 0 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Righty delivers. Gets a piece and stays alive. Owen oh, Chu now. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Hit well. Right field, way back, and gone. And they add a couple more. It's 7-0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Next for the Brewers, Sal Fraley. And a big swing and a miss. Oh one. Oh one down. And a foul ball. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. This one lifted in the air, left field. Pat makes the catch, and there's one down. Now, Pat, the catcher, William Contreras. Here's the catcher to hit, William Contreras. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues, and this kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother, and he smiled as well. Said, yeah, he's good, and gave me that look that I think he might be better than me eventually. Good upside run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Two outs, base is empty. Next is the designated hitter, Tyler Black. That's a strike across the top of the zone. That one in the dirt. One and one. Two down, nobody on. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. And that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Now, well, now. A few things can go wrong when you are delivering a pitch. That grip, slip out of your hand, release point, wind up, all of those things. And I think it's safe to say at least one of those, if not more than one, got away from him. Adamas lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. And a pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The pitch. Foul ball there. Two outs. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-handed reliever. Foul ball still a one and two count.
And here it comes. Run around the goal. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Gets to it on to first. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Two runs for Milwaukee on the dinger. It's now 7-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Here at Wrigley Leading Field, off, there's Mike Tockman. The right fielder, field. Mike Tockman. Back to work. No, outside. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. The 1-0. Oh. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. Yeah, ball there's two. the ball. 2-1. Two, That no, just misses. Three and one now. Three ball, one strike. Two. And that drops in for a strike. Full count. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it That's himself for the out. The left field, number, number eight. eight. Ian. And up next for Chicago, Ian Happ worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. Ah. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Fires over to Hoskins. Out. Already two gone here in the home the floor. Base, number five, Christopher Morrell. Christopher Morrell, the next cup to hit. And that one in the air center field. Perkins under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now Jake Bowers. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Foul ball. And the 0 2. Good job to fight that one off. The 0 2. 1 2. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Here's a big the power threat. Reese Hoskins. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. On to first. Ow. Two away now after the drop third strike. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, and people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Bryce Terang up now for the Brewers. That's in there. Strike one.
Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And that'll do it. Nobody left for Milwaukee, and they hold a 7 0 lead. Bottom of the inning, stepping in, Michael Bush. The designated hitter, Michael. The line of the pitch. Two now. And that's down and away. Terrain. To first. Out. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now batting. Shortstop. Dansby. Swanson. And next for the Cubs, Dansby Swanson. And he's already singled in this game. Ball. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. Uh -huh. That clips the corner. One ball. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And deals. Oh, he hit him. Dead ball. Dead and that first. got him pretty flush. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Number, hey, hey. Number, so a man two. aboard, Matt Mervis, the next oh, cup to hit. Man. He hit into a double play his first time up. And takes no. low for ball one. One ball, no strike. Righty to the plate. That's a ball. There's the strike, and it's two and one. Left hand hitter waits. He swings and fouls one off. Swanson leads off first with one away. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. You know, variant speeds can be just as now useful for a pitcher yes, as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Amaya Go. takes a ball as he stands in for the second One time. Come back into the mound. Slings to first, Out. inning over. So they've been held scoreless through five. It's the Brewers seven and the Cubs nothing. We're back and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher Hector Neris. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Up now for Milwaukee, Oliver Dunn, one for two. Oliver Dunn. The pitch. 
And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Ball. 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Ball. That one missed. 3 1. Swings ah. through that one for strike two. And the right hander deals. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. He's now down. one gone in the top of the sixth. The and here is Blake Perkins. He's already homered in this game. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Yeah, that up. skips in the dirt. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it. Uh, to improve your game, but ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Here comes a pitch. There's one oh. guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now here is Sal Fraley. That one fouled off. The Brewers up big in this one, and we're the top half of the sixth. Oh. And now it's even up. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct. Nice back out! Hard enough, he was looking to go right there or not, but he was clearly fooled by the pickle. Move. Quick feet, quick release over there by the pitcher. Really quick tag as well. And the righty deals. Swing it a foul straight back. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. And a pitch. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets to it on the first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Brewers 7 and the Cubs nothing. Bottom of the sixth we inning. Got, Here's a speed up. threat. Pete Crow Armstrong. <laughs> The pitch. Ball. One ball. No strike. And a pitch. No. Off the plate inside. And yeah, that's ball two. Pulls that one foul. And he deals. That's a little bit low. Three, Three two now. Full count. Good plate appearance there. 
able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes. Go, but go. now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. No, that's a ball. 1-0. The 1 0. Here's the strike. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it 1 and 2. Righty delivers. X and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. No way. That time, a little anxious. And now, Mike Tockman. Right through there for a strike. The Cubs with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom of the sixth. They say it went. Oh, two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two gone. And now no here is Ian, Ian Hat. Ian Hat. And that's outside. And that's ball one. One ball. No strike. Crow Armstrong leads off first with two down to the inning. Ball. Next pitch is outside. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Could be a chance here for them yeah. to start clawing back into this ball game. Oh. Well, in the box now, no balls and a strike. And he'll one on the ground. Done. Fires across the diamond. That ends the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Brewers seven and the Cubs nothing. And we're back. New inning getting started. Here's the Brewers catcher now, William Contreras. The right hander back to work. Out to center. Crow Armstrong should have it. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. The bat, number seven. And next is the designated hitter, Tyler Black. Strike one. No ball. One strike. Here. Right through there for a strike. No ball. Two strikes. Next one, offering two. is in the dirt.
and they'll do it again. And a one two again stays alive. Base is empty one away here at the top half of inning number seven. And another ball. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. The batter. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, Willie Adamas. Lifted in the air, right center field. Tuckman coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Michael Bush. Ross back to work and first offering is fouled off and it's into the gap around first heading for two and he's there with a leadoff double I'm sure he feels really good about that one when you connect and it jumps off your bat like that you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, man. He wasn't fooled at all. Dansby Swanson, the next cup to hit. To the right side. Tosses to first, Out. and Swanson is set down. The first base, number 22. Matt Mervis. Matt Mervis, the next Cub to hit. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air, look for the right pitch up, and then smoke it. That ah. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed oh, hitter. third base side the pitch ball one one ball two strikes at the belt and fires headed towards the corner he's got it runner tags for home he scores on the sack fly, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Wow, pretty amazing. That only ended up being a sack fly. So much excitement and a great effort out there to take on the wall as he hauled it in. And for the batter, could have easily been a double or even a triple, but you know what? He'll take the sack fly RBI. 1-0. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And that's in for a strike. The count two and one. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. One run on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Brewers seven and the Cubs one. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the eighth. Up now for Milwaukee, Jake Bowers. The 
pitch. And that's no. off the inside edge. One and oh. And the pitch. Ball. That ball one three. inside. And that's ball three. And there's the automatic. Three ball, one strike. The 3 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Oh. And down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Boog, if you can set up a good two-strike splitter with a fastball on the previous pitch, it's going to be so tough to recognize and adjust your swing to get a piece of it. Clearly had him reaching for it right there. Hoskins batting with one down takes a strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Oh, two. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. That no. one just misses. Misses outside and a full countdown. left center field that's well struck that's back there and that one is out of here another homer his second home run of the game and they add to the lead it's 8-1 So impressive. You have to have such a clear and direct path to the baseball on a split finger, that location inside part of the plate. Did a tremendous job of staying inside of it and keeping that ball fair. Next for Milwaukee, Bryce Terang, one for three. Ball, First no. offering and it just misses. Right through there for a strike. In the air, left field down the line, and that'll fall for a base hit. Now, that's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. Yep. Done. Stands in now and Go watches ball. strike one. Strike. Now 
the Brewers up big in this one and we're in the top of the eighth. Next offering upstairs. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One, two. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And a pitch. Two, two. Man at first, one away. No. The next offering misses. And the count is filled up. And misses, struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more the fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Perkins stands in with two away as he takes a ball. with two gone. Neris throws over and he's back in there. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And the righty deals. Just off the outside edge. And a count to it on. That one in there across the letters. That one to first. Dives and he can't hang on. But there's no play. That's an infield single. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Yenzi Almonte. I think he's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it. But he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. So the lineup flips over. Next to hit, Sal Fraley. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Edge of the zone for a strike. Oh, a two down. Swing and a miss struck him out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now eight to one. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Bryce Wilson. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Here's the center Leave fielder, Pete Crow up. Armstrong. He's the 0 for 1. Pete Crow Armstrong. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. The wind of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. One, two. Straighten him up a little bit. The wind to kick the pitch. Ball. And now the count is even. Two balls, two strikes.
the punch out there. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. So up now for Chicago, Nico Horner. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Bounce to the left side. Done. Whips it across. He's out. Two up, two down. The bat. The, bat. the right, the right field. field. Mark. Talk two on. outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Mike Talkman. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Left field. Bowers on his way over. Feeling for the wall, makes the catch in foul ground. Back here at Wrigley Field, and now William Contreras. Off of the, Brewers. the catcher, William Contreras. And here it comes. Ah! Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Colton Brewer up and throwing for manager Craig Council. And the right hander deals. Ball and that's downstairs and outside. Check swing. What do you now got? we look down to first. And that's a swing according to umpire Ed Drummond. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Chases the fastball up the ladder. Struck him out. Tyler Black the bat up bat now for the Brewers. Designated hitter. Tyler Black. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Back there. And gone into the home run basket. It just got out of here. And they add a run. It's 9-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. One out, base is empty. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. Got no, a good eye the there. Ball. And the 1 0. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Ball. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the ninth. And okay. now the count filled up three and two.
in the air right side of the infield. Mervis under this one. They got it for out number two. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work wow. at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Two outs, base is empty. Next for the Brewers, Jake Bowers. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a base hit up the middle. He was all over that one. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. No, up now for Milwaukee, Reese Hoskins. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. Ball, no. One ball, no strike. And ball that's two. outside. And the count is two, two and oh. Right. A bit behind with that swing. Two, it's strike one. Bowers off the of first with two away. Two outs. Okay. In the dirt, blocked. And the runner stays where he is. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Pat under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And this is now a 9-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at the friendly confines. The Bottom nine. So up now no for left Chicago. Left. Ian Hatt. Yeah. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hauls it in for the out. The third baseman, number five. Now the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Morell. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And that's in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Ball. Next offering misses. One and two to count. Kicks and deals. Got him. And they're down to their last out. Now one out left for the Cubs. Michael Bush, the next Cub to hit. Yep. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Left-hand hitter waits. A little out front there as he swings through it. Okay. The Cubbies down to their final strike. The Cubs with a lot of ground to make up. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Fights it off, you'll see another. Ball and one. ball one. One ball, two strikes.
There's a swing and a drive. That one's carrying. Makes the catch. Ball game. And the Brewers take this one in a blowout. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 9-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Brewers, nine runs on 13 hits. No errors, they left six runners on base. For the Cubs, one run on three hits. No errors, they left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and